I uh, had an idea that I was kicking around for this talk, but I just uh, you know, kept pushing it off to the back burner. And then last night, my friend was like, you have to do this. So at 10.30, I started putting some slides together. And I waited until 8.55 this morning, hoping that all the slots would fill up. And you know, gosh, somebody who was more prepared could do this. And it didn't happen, so I signed up. But in my technical genius, um, what I didn't realize was that my laptop does not have an HDMI out. Um, which is something I took for granted, and it's still not happening. So um, imagine, if you will, that on the screen behind me, there's a lovely dark orange background with a, um, a shape that looks like this, kind of. And in the middle, in white, it says, thank you. <laughs> Best talk ever. Um, just like that. So my name is Abby Jones. I am, oh, now I'm embarrassed to say this. Um, never mind. Uh, I'm a software developer at Mutual of Omaha. I'm usually more prepared than this. And uh, my talk today is about a side project that I kind of had on the back burner for a while called uh, the Hometown Tourist. So <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. Um, you can go to the next slide. Yeah, that one. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I'm a software developer at Mutual of Omaha, which by the way is a great company, and we're hiring, so if you're interested in working with um, awesome people, come talk to me later. You can't see the other picture, which is, did you see the other picture with the Smurf guitar and the cute little girl? Okay, that's my niece. All right, sweet. Uh, so when I'm not at work, I like playing guitar and hanging out with my niece, who also likes playing guitar, so that works out pretty well. I think they've almost got it, but I'll just give you the, what this is all about. Cool. Um, so before I was a software developer, I was actually a teacher, and I did that for a lot of years. And I was in Lincoln, uh, and I was teaching there. And while I was in Lincoln, there were lots of really cool places that I wanted to go. And I always thought, like, oh, yeah, I, I got to make sure I go there. I got to make sure I get to this place. These are great. Um, and then after a couple years, I left Lincoln, and I came back to Omaha. And as I was packing up my things and getting ready to go, I realized that there were all these really neat places in Lincoln that I had meant to go and I never did. And I'm kind of sad about that. But it got me thinking and kind of got the wheels turning when I came back here, um, which is this idea that, you know, we always think about, oh, I'm going to go on vacation and see this or that. But really, there's so many amazing things right here in our own city that we can, that we can enjoy. And so we don't have to go far and wide to find those things. We can really, and we should really, be a tourist in our own hometown. And so with that, ooh, we're getting closer. <laughs> um, with that in mind, I started a blog on Blogspot back in 2010 called, uh, it, the URL is literally touristinmyownhometown.blogspot.com. And I set out to um, find really cool things in the Omaha area and write about them and do articles, which was great because before I was a special ed teacher, I was an English teacher. So this got me back into writing again, which is really nice. And um, so I lost my train of thought. So I uh, started going out and finding cool places to write about. And right now, you will see pictures from many of the places that I wrote about. Maybe. No. OK. All right. OK, well, if the screen was up there, you would see pictures of really cool places. Like, did you know, uh, have you been to South Omaha, like South 24th Street? and seeing all of the, I mean, you just walk down 24th Street between about L and Q, and look at the sidewalk. It's incredible. There's this artwork in the sidewalk, and beautiful fountains, and these old historical buildings. So Omaha, before it was the way it is now, um, there was a, like a police station, and a, uh, like that South Omaha was almost like its own little city. And there, there's these old buildings uh, where you can look and you can see. And uh, then, of course, it's, it's been revitalized with all this beautiful artwork. So you would see a photo of that. Um, also, North Downtown, another area that had kind of been run down for a while, but has been revitalized. And there's a lot of really neat murals if you walk around by the Century Leak Center and you check that out. And there's uh, Slowdown. There's a fantastic picture from an Ingrid Michaelson concert at the Slowdown, um, which was incredible. I think, were you with me for that concert, Louise? Yeah, my sister was there. Um, <laughs> and uh, I got to go to Rosenblatt, like the last game before they closed. And so there's a picture of Rosenblatt up there and the fireworks and everything, the last hurrah. And uh, where else did I go? 
Um, have you ever been to Great Harvest Bread? Great Harvest Bakery? It's a, it's, I mean, it's a food chain. It's a bakery, but it's really neat. And if you go in and talk to them, and I got to go talk to the people who ran it uh, and kind of learn about their story, which was cool. And uh, that was the really fun thing. And EcoSense Candles, another, another, just a store, but I got to go and talk to these people and hear their story about how, you know, he got laid off from his job. <laughs> woo <-hoo! laughs> You guys are amazing. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, Hot Chops Art Gallery. Have you been to Hot Chops Art Gallery? It's so cool, and they had an open house, and I got to go talk to these artists about their art. It was incredible. Um, Ted and Wally's. I won't talk you through all of the places. Um, do you recognize any of these? Who knows like, where one of those is? Just yell it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Snack Museum. So I wanted to be a pilot when I was a kid. It was the coolest. Uh, this, I don't think that place is there anymore. It was this really cool shop where they had stuff from all over the world. And um, things that people had handmade in uh, developing countries. And then it was kind of part of their being able to uh, have a job and make money and support themselves. It was really cool. Um, next slide. There it is. See, I told you I had an Ingrid Michaelson concert picture, and it's there. Um, do you know what any of these places are? There's Rosenblatt. There's South Omaha. Uh, Lauriston Gardens. If you haven't been there, you feel like you're on vacation, and there's multiple, you can travel through several different places just in Lauriston Gardens. Uh, there's a cemetery in North Omaha that's crazy. You wouldn't think a cemetery would be a cool place to visit, but the tour guide had so many great stories. If you think Omaha is like a vanilla, boring town, you have no idea. It was the home of ruffians. Like people, this was the place where people said, like, if you're traveling west, go through Omaha as fast as you can and keep going because they're, they're like the ruffians there. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, 2010, I think I wrote 28 blog posts. Uh, in 2011, I wrote one. <laughs> and I haven't written anything since then. It's really sad. And in the meantime, so many cool things have happened and, and we have all these new places that I would love to go and old places that I just didn't get to. Um, so somewhere along the line in there, I started learning to code and becoming a software developer. So of course I thought like, well, I shouldn't just use Blockspot. I should build my own thing because that would be awesome. And it can be totally custom, exactly the way I want it to look, exactly the features that I want to have. Like that would be amazing. I think, yeah. Uh, so I recruited, and sorry, this is washing out just a little bit, it, but I recruited my very talented designer sister who's sitting right here. I like to embarrass her whenever I can um, to help me out with this. And she created this really cool logo and uh, an initial design, and I was so excited about it. Wanted to start building it. Um, and if you are like me, you kind of probably know what happened after that. Yeah. Um, so, oh, sweet. This is not the slide I thought I'd put next, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so, I, and I, I have a brainstorm list in multiple places of all the places that I wanted to go after, you know, when I did phase two. and. Um, Kaneko, of course, and Spielbound, which is so fun. Have you been to Spielbound? Yes. Yeah, Spielbound is amazing. Uh, and I guess there's another one that's kind of like that, but I haven't been there. Um, I don't know, another board game cafe. Do Space, how much awesome stuff is happening at Do Space? Uh, events like Bar Camp, we should have that out there. And there's so much at Midtown Crossing and Exarban Village and just all these little things that are happening. Um, food, Omaha, was the food week? We like food in Omaha, right, food? <laughs> Um, there's so many restaurants, and so I want to have, you know, all these restaurants. And this is really sad because, of course, when I was under the gun, I couldn't think of all the places. But in various places, I have a list of probably 30 places um, that I want to go. So it's not that I lack for ideas. Oh, yeah, and I want to add new features. And I forgot to write a bunch of them, but maybe give people a way to interact with it and say, like, yeah, that's a great place. I forgot to tell you this. One of the things about the hometown tours was there's enough negative stuff in the world. And, you know, I mean, there's, uh, we need honest reviews. That's cool. But my thought with the tourist was, you know, this is about finding the best and celebrating that and making that available. And if I would go someplace and I didn't really like it, I just thought it was okay or, or not good at all, I just wouldn't write about it. Like, you know, I don't need to go and write something negative about it. I just, like, that's cool. It's, we're just not going to, somebody else might love it, and that's great, too. Um, so new features, I think it'd be cool to give people a chance to say, like, thumbs up. And I thought about also doing a sideways or down, but, ah, 
you know, let's just, let's just keep it positive. If you love it, give it a thumbs up. If not, keep moving. Uh, giving people a chance to add their own story about a place or add um, a photo, maybe, uh, about this place. Maybe suggest another place or event would be really great. Um, maybe expand this so people in other cities could access it. Um, some way to make it pay for itself. But I hate the idea of doing ads, and I just really hate the idea of doing ads. Um, <laughs> so it just feels wrong. I uh, just want it to be a community thing and just come in and have this to celebrate together. So these great ideas for places I want to go and features, but then comes the paralysis of analysis, trying to figure out. Uh, you're so good, you're just like reading my mind. Um, so some challenges, time, because I haven't written since 2011, so something is wrong. Um, choosing a technology stack. Man, you can go around and around in circles just trying to figure that out, uh, and, and time. And choosing a technology stack and time. So uh, the end of this talk isn't gonna be I accomplished it. This is still very much a work in progress. The end of this talk, just so you know, is gonna be help and send me ideas. Sweet. Okay, so for the front end, these are the things that I was thinking about. Um, in my job, I, we get to use React quite a bit. We use Vue a little bit, but I don't get to use it very much, so I thought, I'll do this for some of my side projects, it'll be great. Uh, and the front end wasn't too hard to figure out, but the back end, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a side project, so I need it to not cost very much money, but also be secure, and pretty simple, but also flexible, and so I went through so many ideas, and I just don't know what to do. Um, so these are all the ideas that I thought of maybe for the back end. And I won't go into these, but that's rolling through it. Because uh, they're telling me one minute, so I gotta wrap this up. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for your patience in this crazy, crazy talk. Um, if this is an idea that you like and you wanna tweet me about it, that would be awesome. If you have suggestions either for places to go or for, you know, hey, this is what you should do for your tech stack or um, features that you think would be great, or if you want to be involved in helping do this and helping build this thing, um, please reach out to me because I could obviously use all the help I can get, um, and I would love to love to get more input and maybe get more people involved. So um, my Twitter handle is there, my email address, uh, and I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs>